so here's how to think about this. You've got this point x, y, it's off the diagonal. I'm going to project, this is x down here, right? I think we could agree with that. And this is y right here. And now what I want to do is I want to put a copy of x and y on each axis. So no, now notice a copy of x goes right here also, right? Yeah. And then a copy of y goes like right here. We could agree to that, right? And now, since, uh, since um, our space is Hausdorff, we can find a neighborhood of x that, and a neighborhood of y that are non-intersecting, right? So let's draw those pictures. So this is our neighborhood of x. I'm going to draw it as an open interval, but really it's not an open interval, right? So there's a neighborhood and there's of x and there's a neighborhood of y that are non-intersecting. And then we can bring those neighborhoods up here also. Like that, right? Mm -hmm. And now what we'll do is take this copy of the neighborhood of x, this copy of the neighborhood of y, and look at their product which is open in the product topology. And notice, necessarily it contains x, y, and necessarily it also misses the diagonal. Right? Remind me what the product topology means. Yes, good, 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 good. So, uh, No, you should, you should do that. Okay. Yeah. So let's say x and y are top spaces, right? They're topological spaces, right? So the product topology has the following basis. Um, it has basis, everything of the form u cross v, where u is open in x and v is open in y. Now that's a basis for the topology. That doesn't mean that everything that is open in x cross y is of that form. It means that, well, this is a basis for the open sets, right? Yeah. So check it out. This cross thing right here, that's going to be open, right? Because it's actually one of the basis open sets. Because this is open here and this is open here. So if you cross them, it's going to be open here. Yeah, so now that's the idea. It's going to miss the diagonal. So now let's write that down carefully, right? OK. OK, so let's suppose, suppose x is Hausdorff and xy is off the diagonal. So that means it's an element of x cross x minus delta. OK? <clears throat> now, uh, so x is not equal to y. And x and y are in x, right? How do we know that x is not equal to y? We're off the diagonal. Yeah, the diagonal is the place where everything, the two entries are the same, right? Yes. Yeah, so we're off of that point. Okay. So now, use the Hausdorffness of x. So let's find u sub x uh, and u sub y open in x such that x is an element of u sub x, y is an element of u sub y, and u sub x intersected with u sub y is empty. <clears throat> okay. Now that's possible because it's Hausdorff, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's possible because it's Hausdorff. Now, uh, let's maybe set u equal to u sub x cross u sub y, and observe that that is 
open, uh, maybe I guess I should say it like this, an open neighborhood of uh, the ordered pair x cross y, uh, sorry, x comma y in, yeah, I guess it's already in x cross x, so we don't need to do anything. It's an open neighborhood of that, right? We could agree with that, right? And now uh, we claim that u is contained in x cross x minus delta. But that will show that x cross x minus delta is open, right? Because anytime you want to show something's open, you pick a point from it, and you find an open neighborhood of that point which is contained within the set, right? Contained within the would-be open set. And that's exactly what we're doing here, right? We took a point from it right here, and we found an open neighborhood that we hope is totally contained in the set, right? And we're going to do this by way of contradiction. So by way of contradiction, um, if um, otherwise, maybe, otherwise uh, there exists a t in x such that t is an element of u intersected with delta. Wait, no, that's not right. Because that's not the right type of uh, element such that the ordered pair TT is in U intersected with delta. There we go. So by way of contradiction, suppose that it's not contained here. But if it's not contained here, then it intersects with delta, right? Yeah. But now we want to show that that's a problem. So that means that TT is an element of UX cross u y right because that's what u is um, but look that means that t is in u x and t is in u y that's what it means to be in the cross product right but like look now just change that and to an intersection but that's still yeah which is empty Good, so that's the forward direction, right? Pretty cool, right? Now, what about the reverse direction? How are we going to do that? So we got to suppose that thing's closed, right? Suppose. Uh, uh, delta in x cross x is closed. Okay. Now, now we want to show x is Hausdorff, right? So how do we show x is Hausdorff? We take two points that are not equal, and we find neighborhoods that contain each one that don't intersect, right? That's what it means to be Hausdorff. So let's suppose that that's closed. Um, and uh, x and y are in x with uh, x not equal to y. But if x is not equal to y, tell me where uh, the ordered pair x, y lives. This line is your hint. <laughs> what if it's x cross x? Minus delta. Yeah, yeah that's it. Because remember, delta is everything where the, uh, or the entries are the same, right? So if the entries are different, you're outside of delta, right? So here, this is outside of delta. x minus x minus delta, which is open, right? Because delta is closed, right? But now, if it's open, then we can find a neighborhood containing the point that's contained within it, right? But now we don't want to 
we don't want to find any neighborhood, we want to find a basis open set, right? We can always do it with a basis open set. That's like kind of the definition of a basis open set, right? So find uh, u v open in x uh, with uh, x y uh, an element of u cross v a subset of x cross x minus delta, right? But now let's note that this means that x is in u, y is in v. Good. So we've put, we've put our two points in open sets, right? And now we want to claim that these open sets uh, don't intersect, right? Yeah, so how do we do that? We claim that u intersect v is empty. So if uh, u intersect v is not empty, then we have a t in u intersect v, right? But that means that tt is inside of u cross v, right? But that's a problem because that is also within delta. Right, TT is going to be in delta. But uh, we're assuming that that is empty. So that's our contradiction. We know U cross V intersected with delta is empty by the kind of thing right above. <laughs>